welcome back to another episode of Brisket Medic. This month's brisket we're going to be doing is pastrami. We're going to be making pastrami from a brisket. We actually started this uh, just over two days ago and uh, we put our brisket flat. We trimmed it all up real nice, got all the silver skin off, got all the exterior fat off, and uh, we put it down in a brine that consisted of salt, sugar, curing salt, uh, a little bit of water, and pickling spices. And that's been brining in the fridge in a bag for, like I said, just over two days now. So it's about time for us to take it out and get it smoked. Now we want to smoke this because it is a brisket, just like a brisket. We're going to smoke it uh, with a little bit of salt and pepper rub on the outside, and then we're going to pull it once it's probe tender, uh, definitely over 165 internal temperature, which would be standard for pastrami. But again, this is brisket, and uh, we're going to soak this uh, this brisket in some water as soon as we pull it out of the brine, just to kind of pull some of that salt out of it, because um, we don't really want it to be super over salted but I've got kind of a uh, snake um, set up here in the uh, Weber 22 inch kettle and uh, we're gonna let that charcoal get started I'm gonna brush off these grates add a little bit of water to the pan and we're gonna get this thing smoking again you can do it on anything you can do it on the Green Mountain Grills you can do it on your ugly jump smoker you can do it on a kettle you can do it on a stick burner whatever you want just make sure you're burning somewhere around 225 to 250, uh, just low and slow. You don't want to do hot and fast on this because uh, you're going to really get uh, too much of a char on the outside because of the chemical reactions that you have with the pastrami. So 225 to 250 until the internal temperature is 165 or probe tem tender, probe tender. I prefer to go probe tender because I like to cook it like a brisket. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there getting it tasted up and see how well this two-day brisket pastrami turns out. I do have some chunks of mesquite wood in there because it's brisket. It needs mesquite wood. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. We'll see you here in just a little bit. I'm gonna throw that pastrami out of the fridge and into some water and let it soak. Uh, desalmonized, 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 whatever. Get the salt off. We've pulled our pastrami out of the fridge and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and stick it in this bowl of clean water. <clears throat> and that's just to kind of stop this uh, process from continuing on any further. You can see that it's uh, it's gotten kind of a gray tint to it and uh, it's, it's, it's very heavy feeling. So I'm just gonna sit that down in there wipe off any of those peppercorns, pickling spice, all that good stuff. Make a mess on the patio. And uh, we're gonna let that set for just a few minutes. This is getting ready to go. We're gonna throw this away and uh, wipe down the table and we'll get ready to uh, get this seasoned up as soon as we get it. Desalmize, sal sal whatever. You know what I mean. We've let this sit in some clean water to desalinize. Got it. To desalinize, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and pull it out. And uh, we want it to pull. We want to pull it out and let it set on this uh, drying grate, so that uh, kind of develop a little bit of a pellicle on the outside for our rub to go on, so that we can go ahead and get it onto the Weber kettle when we are ready to go. As you're pulling it out, just kind of clean some of that pickling spice off the edges, off the outside of it. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean, but it'll be good. You can see it's starting to, ooh, it's gonna be good and tender. All right, so we're just gonna sit it there, and yes, I had to trim down a lot, uh, uh, because right now, brisket is so stupid expensive that when they had brisket on sale of course I bought a few of them and they snuck one in on me this one was like literally 80 percent fat I probably made five cups of tallow off the fat I cut off of this plus I put some fat in my other brisket trimmings uh, so I can make ground beef so there was way way more than just that much fat uh, for the five cups of tallow. It's ridiculous. You butchers should be ashamed, ashamed of yourself and you big producers. 
uh, not not your ranchers, not the producers who actually raise the cattle, but you packing companies, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. We're getting screwed as consumers, and the ranchers are getting screwed as producers. But you keep sleeping at night, and you're a nice multi-million dog. Anyways, we're going to let this develop a pellicle. I'm going to go clean up, throw this in the sink. We'll be back. We've let a little bit of a pellicle form, and uh, our Weber kettle is doing very well. Uh, probably sitting around 225 to 250 degrees. I've got both vents open all the way. Just the way we did the snake method tells me that's how, uh, how hot it probably is. <clears throat> We're just going to top this off with a little S&P. Uh, this is two parts pepper to one part salt. Kind of like what we would do with a brisket, folks. This is hard to shake out of these holes. Let me do it this way. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, baby. Gotta make sure we get all our edges. S and P for me. That's going to be an amazing crust, and uh, man, that's going to be a great little piece of pastrami. So we're going to let that set about two minutes, and we'll throw it on the smoker. night night after about 45 minutes we're going to go ahead and open this up and check on it and see how our pastrami brisket is doing it getting a nice little color there yeah i think we're going to be doing good we're going to go ahead and shut it down we'll check on it every hour and uh see how it's doing In the next hour i think i'll turn it maybe to kind of keep that heat from uh, blasting one side but it, it looks like it's doing really, really nicely, and uh, we're going to turn it down, because if you're looking, you ain't cooking, baby. After about three and a half hours, we're going to go ahead and take a look and see how our pastrami is doing, how this brisket is cooking, and how far along our charcoal is burned. See right now our charcoal is at the halfway mark and uh, we're starting to get some good color on the side that's been exposed to the heat. With the snake method it's going to wrap all the way around so I am just going to do a little quarter turn while I'm checking heat measurement. And looks like we're at 133 internal temperature so uh, we're, we're about there. Um, We've got a couple more hours yet to uh, finish this up and uh, we'll check in with you as soon as it is we'll check in with you as soon as it's finished up probe tender and we start to slice I'm actually gonna start spritzing this thing with just a little bit of water to keep some moisture content on it just until the end of this cook probably every 30 minutes or so I'll see you when it's ready to slice It's the next day guys uh, I have been a little bit sick and so I didn't stay up last night I was really tired uh, to, to film this so I just went back to bed so uh, we did finish the cook last night but I reheated uh, our pastrami and uh, I want you to see how well this looks I didn't slice it or try it yet I want to wait for you guys to do that a little warm, a little warm, a little juicy, a little warm. And uh, our little pastrami burger patty thing. 
So uh, let's go ahead and take a slice. I'm just cut it right down the middle. And uh, look at that great color all the way through. That is absolutely amazing. I'm going to pause right here and take a few pictures for the old YouTube thumbnail. And we're going to get a little taste. Traditionally, this would be cooked to about 160 to 170 degrees internal temperature. And then they would slice it really, really thinly and steam it uh, before they put it on sandwiches and whatnot. But uh, I'm going to try to slice it pretty thin um, to try it. Um, of course, we cooked it to an internal temperature of about 205 until it was pro tender. And, uh, pulls apart really nicely. I want to try it. Mm. This is delicious. I can't wait to try this on different things. Guys, you try this out yourself. Homemade pastrami out of a brisket flat. This is brisket medic. I love you. Drink more water, guys. It really helps me out if you hit that thumbs up. Please, please, please. If you like this video, do that. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next done with the brisket. See ya.